day 12 of the 12 days of Christmas trees, and I have saved the best for last. Stay tuned to the video and see what I make today. But first I had to make a paper cone to the height of my fireplace mantle, then use the string to draw out the shape on the poster board, a pair of scissors, and lots of tape. I am using red and silver balls from the Dollar Tree. Some of these are, are shiny, some are matte, and some are glitter. So because I don't want glitter all over my dining room table, I'm using a bowl to put them all in. And I know I don't have enough. I'm gonna have to get a lot more. Okay, I'm gonna use my silicone craft mat because I don't wanna get glue on my little tablecloth. It's just so cute. All right, so just going to start that bottom row right here. And I want to make sure that the ball is flat with the, um, you know, the bottom. Do So I think I'm just going to put a little bit of glue on the paper and then just go around like this. And I want the tip to be at the top, um, as close to the as close to the um, cone as I can. And I'm just going to alternate the colors, and then alternate the style too, because there's glitter in here. I'm not a huge fan of glitter, but it's going to be it's going to be cute. So I am going to take the tips off. And I'm eyeballing it. I'm not going to measure it. Nobody got time for that. Nobody got time for that. I can do something with those little tips. But man, that glitter goes everywhere, man. I'm glad I put them in these, this bowl because it is going everywhere. That's why I'm not a fan of glitter. This is what the first layer looks like. And now I'm going to put the second layer on. And all I'm gonna do is overlap in between the balls. I could probably just do it like this instead of, so I'm gonna to try to use more of the red. So this is how I'm going to put the other ones. As much as I can, okay? And glue them down. And so what I'm trying to do is get the glue on the three points where the balls are touching, just like that. And don't worry if there's gaps because I'm going to be filling those in with smaller balls. I wonder if I got, yeah, these are the smaller, smaller red ones. And then I have some even smaller, but I need to, I already know I need to get some more. So this is not going to be finished today, but who needs an excuse to go to Dollar Tree anyway? going around. I already know I'm not going to have enough of these large balls to go all the way up the tree to fill the whole tree, but I'm going to use what I have and then go to the dollar store and get some more. But I'm just using all of the, the same size ornaments and I'm going to do that up the whole tree 
and then fill in the gaps with smaller ornaments, even smaller ornaments, and then even smaller, smaller ornaments. So I went back to the dollar store and got a bunch more. I think I'm ending up using 10 sleeves of the large, uh, these large balls. And it really wasn't enough. I, I bought all of the red and silver that they had and it's not gonna be enough. So I'm having to go with the next size a little bit at the top, just so that I have enough to, you know, fill the whole tree. But I used 10 sleeves of the 12 count larger balls, four sleeves of the next smallest, smaller size, uh, four sleeves of the, the smallest size, and then uh, four packs, I think, of the little tiny foam balls that fill in the tiny, tiny gaps. And I really could get quite obsessed with filling in all the tiny little gaps. I mean, I literally could spend here, spend, spend doing, doing this for days, just filling in all of these little gaps. And at first it's looking like a really bad, um, Petri dish disease, but once all the little gaps get filled, it really does even out and it starts to look like a beautiful tree as it should. But you can see I'm using the large balls, the medium balls, the small balls, and then the tiny balls, which are the little foam ones. And I like the little foam ones because you can, they're, they're pliable, so you can kind of squish them into the gaps where you need to and be careful not to burn your fingers but um i was kind of ignoring the bottom a little bit so i did have to give extra care along the bottom too and when i say that the glitter gets all over everything it gets all over everything i had glitter in my hair on my face on my hands and it's the main reason why i'm wearing glasses for this video and not my contacts because I probably would have glitter on my eyeballs too. But how beautiful is this tree? Just look at it. Will you just will you just look at that? It's it's so gorgeous. I have been wanting to make a tree like this for so long and I finally have one. I'm so happy. One Final. Oh, wow. All right. I do have. I mean, I. You could go. You could go on and on, and get really crazy. I'm gonna stop. I mean, you could just keep going on and on. So now, what I want to do is thanks to everyone who who gave me this idea. I had no idea that I could take my heat gun or a blow dryer and and do this so my first time getting rid of the strings this way so i'm a little bit nervous i have a feeling i'm gonna need to put my heat gun maybe on a medium heat so they're just melting they're completely melting but i don't want to get the balls really hot because the balls are plastic so look at that. And if you can really see it, it works really well. Okay. I can glue that right back on there. This turned out so well. Let me show y'all where I'm gonna put it.
I'm going to put it right here next to my Christmas tree. It's big. I mean, it's, it's big. I'm going to take my little fluffy white and put it right there. I love it. I love it. I've always wanted to do this. I've, I did it a couple of years ago with some vintage ornaments that I had. And it's not, not this big, but this turned out really, really good. I'm so happy with it. Thanks for watching my 12 Days of Christmas Trees. Hope you picked up a few new ideas. Bye, friends.